Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for this new week. Today is Tuesday and today I'm reading for Leo, Virgo, Libra and Scorpio. And this reading here is for Scorpio. Welcome Scorpio. I got a new deck called Signs of the Zodiac card deck. It relates to giving different profiles of each zodiac. No, not giving different, give one profile for each zodiac. And so let us find out about the profile of Scorpio. Your birthday season starts October the 23rd and goes to November the 22nd. Your ruling planet is Pluto, your element is water, your quality is fixed, and your polarity is negative, feminine. And assigned to Scorpio is the eighth house relating to taboos, sex, intimacy, death, and rebirth. Virtues of this sign are that you are strong, determined, loyal, faithful, and intuitive. You have the capacity for regeneration and you are resolute, powerful, emotional, persuasive, cunning, and you are sometimes an outsider. Flaws of the sign are that you can be vindictive, controlling, ruthless, distrustful, jealous, temperamental, possessive, drastic, domineering, furious, manipulative, and sometimes you might be a bit in vain. Famous Scorpios, they are Drake, Winona Ryder, Emma Stone, Shaquin Phoenix, to name a few. Scorpio is a notorious sign, twisted, manipulative, and even a little sinister. Scorpios also have the greatest emotional depths, a high capacity for empathy and an ability to rise from their ashes like the phoenix. Scorpio is the sign of deep transformation. They like to fully explore the complexity of the human soul. Life and death and the occult are subjects that will undoubtedly absorb Scorpio to some degree. This is one of the fiercest signs since sex, together with an exploration of the subconscious, the hidden and the taboos, is one area in which Scorpios stand out. Their character is ensnaring, and they are charismatic, but their charisma lies in the mysterious. If you consider yourself a much lighter person than this, then look at your birth chart to see which signs dominate it. Corresponding tarot card from the traditional tarot that is, is the card Death. The death card represents not only an end, but also a beginning. It illuminates Scorpio's fundamental lesson, letting go of experiences, facing life in depth, and embracing the light and the shadows in which they will have to make an effort. Ritual that helps you to let go. 
you will need matches you will need a white candle and you will need some incense the method is when a situation overwhelms you strike a match light the candle and then use the candle to light the incense all in a safe place like your home contemplate the smoke and think about what you want to let go of and then you are ready let the incense burn down and tranquility will take over there are some amulets that help each sign to do some good things for them the most appropriate amulet for Scorpios are those that help them stay emotionally balanced and attract balance to all areas of their life, professional, romantic, spiritual, and also financial. There is the stone obsidian, the black one. It enhances vitality and influences libido, sexual emotions. Malachi, the green one, energizes its warrior on that they are not traumatic and keep cool in stressful situations. The red jasper, especially the brown gold version, relates to passion. Iron or steel an iron or a steel key object attracts material wealth and emotional and financial security. Scorpio should always carry such a key. The flower for Scorpio is the peony. It represents desire and attraction. And the colors for Scorpio are red and black. The red color is the color of strength, vitality and passion. And the black color is the color of mourning and of death, of the end and also of the beginning. The next deck is the Psychic Tarot deck. It is a new deck and the card that came out for you is Transformation. A time of endings is close at hand. Do not resist the abrupt changes that are suddenly happening in your life. These could be taking place in your personal life, in your relationships, in your business or your career. You have the strength as the transformation card asks you to have courage and to know that renewal follows every conclusion. This card comes forth to remind you that a death of an old way of thinking and believing must occur before you can move forward on your new path. Transformation is all about the ebb and flow of life cycles. Nothing in this life remains motionless. Everything is on its way to somewhere. So accept the changes and opportunity will come to expand you in more ways than you could have ever imagined. You cannot live in the past. It is time to move on. In order to take the next positive step, you should look closely at your own life and ask yourself, are there loose ends that need to be tied up? Are there people in my life whom I need to express myself to? What needs to be completed? so I can have a fresh start. When you do so, 
you will have a stronger, more reinforced foundation to carry you through the new beginnings that await you. The traditional tarot archetype card that relates to this transformation card is the death card. And now we come to mood crystals, only mood crystals rela relating to negative moods. Because before that I picked out all the positive ones and I already used the positive cards in various readings. Yes, I did that. I shouldn't have done that, I guess, because negative moods, they are part of life as well. But I like to have a happy reading every time I do my readings. So today I will do the negative moods because they are part of life, right? So the card that came out for Scorpio is Sorrowful. Sorrow can feel like being trapped in sadness, withdrawn from the choice of life. It may stem from the loss of someone or be rooted in a feeling of being not included anymore. Sorrow can make us feel perpetually stuck in a rut and so is depressing us. Good stones to counteract sorrow uh, is amber. Amber is a stone that can dispel depression and helps us, giving us a purpose and a need to connect with others. There is the stone Celestine. It teaches to learn to accept the uncomfortable feeling of sorrow and pain. It empowers you to walk through a storm of life and coming out the other side unharmed. There is the stone Shiva Lingam. It has an ancient energy connecting you to a web of light and support. Resonating with this stone reinforces the feelings of not being alone in your sorrow. And finally, there is the stone Chrysocolla or Chrysocolla. It helps to connect to equanimity. It fosters a peaceful exploration of your inner self and so allowing personal suffering to be fully processed and then released and so establishing a new relationship with the self. A new oracle deck that I got is called Bob Ross Oracle, and we come to this one now, and the card that came out for you is the ocean. When painting the sea scenes, Bob would tell his viewers that there is depth to the ocean, even though the ocean's horizon line should be straight across the canvas, it is in fact not flat and not one-dimensional. Closer to the shore, the waves grow larger and spray foams and so the water is getting higher. Think about being at the ocean, oh, that churning and that splashing. There is a lot of power in there, tremendous amounts of power, Bob said. The ocean reminds us that there are untold depths to each person that we encounter and that we should look inward to find that depth inside ourselves and in those people we meet. And the last card is the Quantum Oracle deck and out came Discovery. 
and it is about unexpected happy developments a man is mining for gold here on the card he has been he has been panning and searching for quite some time but despite his diligent work he has not found the treasure that has lain beyond his reach until now so get ready a time of discovery is opening up for you new ideas and new energy will help to bring forth a goal you have been working on although there may, may be more pain stalking work involved this card is telling you that a positive resolution is at hand so keep your eyes and your mind open for you may actually stumble on an unexpected discovery or an idea that brings great value to your life many options can lead you in exciting directions you may be introduced to someone who resonates with your heart a job offer may come your way or you may come across a book video or spiritual practice that is helpful in your daily life or business this is a very auspicious time new ideas information and exciting new connections are vibrating all around you a gold mine of discovery awaits and now say this affirmation wonderful new discoveries are waiting for me i open myself to new ideas and create new results so that was your reading scorpio i hope you liked it a little bit i wish you a beautiful day today i wish you a wonderful week take care and goodbye